Triple B's, man. <laughs> People scared to change. We not. <laughs> so. What you rockin' zeal twos? I'm blowing past some zeal twos. You know I got a zeal two. Pay respect and pay your dues. Switching lanes zeal two. I change the game zeal two. They know my name zeal two. Pay respect and pay your dues. Shout out to Future, keep guap on me. Shout out to Beast, cause I keep me a lot on me. What's up YouTube, this your main man, AB The Hero, back again with another video. And today I wanna to give you a JBA update. After this video, you should know everything there is to know about the JBA and a little insider information. Let's go. Yesterday, the JBA dropped their first press release recapping the trials that took place in all eight cities and then also introducing the schedule and the arenas that all of the games will be taking place in this summer. Now, uh, the way this is set up is the, the games will be played in two rounds. Eight cities in the first round, eight cities in the second round. Some of those cities will double up in the second round, but in that second round, there is some new cities being introduced. All right, after those two rounds of open play have been played, there will be an all-star game that will take place in Chicago. Then the playoffs will happen in California, all right? Now, if you look at the schedule, it says Ontario CA, and I will be honest with you, when I first seen that, I was like, yo, this is a typo, man. How are they gonna play in Ontario, Canada? That's not even, but it's Ontario, California, threw me off, uh, was right, si right outside of LA, over there, a little bit of by Chino Hills, so pull up over that way. Now, it has been confirmed, your boy LaMelo Ball will be playing on the LA JBA squad. He will be out there, LA JBA squad, with a slew of other dope players. Now, that first game will take place out in Ontario, California, on June 21st. Tickets for that game will go on sale May 19th. So make sure you pull up in there and get you some tickets. It's gonna be super dope. Before that first game, all 64 players will be traveling out to LA on June 10th to do two weeks of training camp, all right? Now this will be a LeVar Ball led training camp. So you know, the heels will be ran and it will be a hooping and people will come out there looking like Ferraris, all right? So it's gonna be some running, so get ready. All players are expected to be working out now. You know what they say? Stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready, you feel me? Because you wanna come into camp in the best shape as possible. Now, once all of the players get out there, they will be fitted in everything Big Baller brand. Head to toe, hats, t-shirts, sweatpants, shoes, all of that stuff. The cool thing about the Big Baller brand though, just with Lonzo, just like with Jello, is that you don't have to wear the Big Baller brand shoes if you don't want to. If you got a pair of Lucky sneakers and you like like Mike, and the only how you can hoop is if you're wearing them one pair, then wear your one pair. It's the same thing. That's the dope part about the Big Baller brand. That's the dope part about independence is you get to wear what you like. You know what I'm saying? And if you just really, really want to keep your ZO2s or with mellow balls put away somewhere special because this is a big moment for you, do that. You feel me? So that's super cool. Um, one of the other cool things is that the team who wins the championship this year will be getting a new car. All eight players, all coaching staff, all trainers, all of those people will be getting a new car. And this is not like the NBA All-Star where they have some type of little Kia or whatever. This is a garage goals type of vehicle, all right? Now, that information on what type of vehicle will be released soon, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be something nice. It's gonna be something when you post up next to it on your Instagram picture, people gonna be like, oh bro, where, where you get that whip from? So be on the lookout for that. Also, I wanna clear something up. There's this video that I seen out there uh, and several videos and people who ran with this whole thing of players having to sign the contract after the tryout. Now, you've been following this channel, you know that I was at Chicago trial, Philly trial, in the New York trials, all right? And I just was off in LA this past weekend. So if anybody gonna know, I know. And I was supposed to be there and allowed to film, all right? So no players had to sign a contract directly after trials, it didn't happen. No players even got a contract until all the trials had already happened, okay? Then some players haven't even signed it yet because their lawyers and moms and dads and all of those folks are going over those contracts as we speak. 
what you seen people signing in that video was either one of three things, all right? There's a, if you've seen, they had the pictures where you write your name on it so they could take a picture with your name and put that in the database so they can remember you what your face look like. Also, if obviously if you win something, what do we need to get from you? Basic information, what's your address, what's your name? Can we get your social media handle? Is your parent's name? What's their number? We wanna contact them. So you've seen people filling out that type of information. And then lastly, you either seen people filling out the uh, release forms for Facebook. As you know, the Ball and Family Facebook show films, Everybody who shows up in that show has to sign a release, letting them have the ability to show your face. So that's what you're seeing people sign. They were not signing no contracts, which is crazy to me that people would even think that because the dude who recorded it wasn't even allowed to be recorded and was shooting through a door. So, and, and, and you would think that if it was something so egregious like that that was happening, he would then ask one of the players who he talked to after the fact and been like, yo, man, did you have to sign a contract right then? And then all of those players would have said, no, bro, was no contract. You know what I'm saying? Also, the contract, everything is above board. It's legitimate. It's like 14 pages. So it would have been a whole lot of flipping to get that done right there. But uh, that's the information that I have for y'all today. Make sure you stick around because uh, we're going to keep going with the updates. And also, if you're going to go to a game, there's a high probability that your boy AB the Hero will be at all of the games in all of the cities or as many as I can attend. All right. So if you want to be there, let me know. Pull up. Let's do something for the Instagram or something like that with the post up or something like that. You feel me? And uh, holla at your boy, man. I'll be out there. I look forward to seeing all y'all this uh, summer and getting these all these updates out to y'all. Um, it's your main man, Abby the Hero. I'm out. Peace.